In this video, we are going to continue with the scalar product. You will find this on page 245 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, there it is. The vector is OA, there it is, where O is the origin. Okay, find the length of the line OA. Okay, so basically I just fill it in the magnitude and I get its four. Four, work out the magnitude. Now number B. The line OA is produced to B such that OB is eight units, but now I have to check. This was four. So if I say OA is produced, that, that means, okay, Say you had O, there's O, and there's A. And if they say it's produced, they are meaning this, it's, it's making longer, and now to eight units. So meaning that if this is four, this is four, then this one there will be B, and that one will be eight. Okay, this one is four. So, so. OA is 4 units and OA is produced to B, so OB is 8 units, as I showed you then. Then OB is, then OB is 2 times OA, which is correct. So if I want to find the um, coordinates of point B, I just first this, I have OA, I just fill it in, there is OA, I just fill it in, and then I get this, okay. Now, this is O, it's coming from the origin, so you can basically find the coordinate points by just taking the values, remember to grab your sign, um, in front, and there is the coordinate point of B. Okay, and now, the vectors OC is I plus PJ, so it's an unknown there, where P may be different values, maybe right. Using a scalar product, find the value of P when the angle AOC is a right angle. Okay. So, if AOC is a right angle, it means OA and OC, the scalar product will be zero. Okay, so there is OA, and where is my OC? Okay, let's just find OC, they gave it to me there, there they go. So, if I multiply it, I must get zero. So, I just um, put in, so I'm taking two, and I take one, there is the two and a one, and negative one, do you see? And there is the P. And then this one is having a K, but the other one not, so it's zero, so it falls away. But because, because it's a right angle, I know the scalar product will be zero. And that's how the way I can find P. Now, the second one is an interesting question. It was also in my other higher level book, because it, sometimes you just came across questions which is so good. It's also a very good question. The two values of P when angle AOC is 60 degrees. Now, remember, if you want to find an angle, the formula will be cos of angle AOC, then it's the magnitude of them, uh, not the, the scalar product of them, then the magnitude, magnitude. Okay, so I, I have OA and I have OC. I can work all that things out. The problem is just I must work it in terms of P now out. So if I work out OA, dot OC, scalar product, I must do it in terms of P. Okay, so 2 minus P. Now I'm going to find the magnitude of this one. And I find the magnitude of the other one, also in terms of P. Now this is very important. This cos 60, because they tell you the angle. I, I actually, they tell you here that this, mm, let's just make it red. Cos 60 equals this. Now, you can think of special triangles. You can press it on your calculator. It doesn't matter. I just like to, to show you the way without a calculator always. So, if this was the special triangles, can you remember this was 2, this was 1, because of this was 30, this was 60. So, cos 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, in the place of cos 60, I can put a hole. Okay. And now I'm able to find that values of P. So basically, i just going to cross multiply, I get this. Now first, uh, let's, okay, if I multiply in there, okay, but first I have to, I just showed you here, I have to isolate. So 
I'd first divide by four, divide by four both sides, and that's where I got a half. And then as soon as the square root, it's just my space was not enough. So as soon as I just have a square root on this side, I can square both sides. Okay, so then I first basically just multiply in uh, to get that, okay? And then I went and I squared both sides and the square root goes away. I multiply this out, okay? And, if I, and I take everything to one side. And as I, if I'm doing that, I'm going to find, okay, so I'm going to find this, as you showed you here. I take out P as a common factor, and it's either P0 or P is negative 4 over 3. Okay, not so difficult. So just divide by 4, square both sides, take everything to one side, factorize, um, it's not a trinomial, take out a common factor and find the values of Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. I never gave it to you in the video. I just thought now, now at number two, I think I'll, I'll show you now what movement I wanted to do in the video. So just number two. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Number two A. The vectors, and I'm going to write it down, the vectors A, B is going to be 2i minus 3j plus 6k. And the point A, okay, but remember, if they say point A, you can actually take it as OA, because a coordinate point is always OA, O what, but zero is the origin. So you can actually write that as negative 3i plus 3j plus 3k. You can write that. Okay. Then find the coordinate of point B. And the reason why I gave you this one, and this is the reason, because I never did this with you. Okay. Let's write AB. I did it in examples, but never on a, on a um, try now video. So if I want to, if I write it in terms of position vectors, then it's O, B, minus O, A. And now, basically, you're just going to make O, B the subject of the formula. So it's going to be A, B, plus O, A, and that's equal to O, B. Okay, so now I have A, B, so I can, oh, I can swap it, so O, B. Okay, I just swap the sides, so it's going to be 2i minus 3j plus 6k plus negative 3i plus 3j, 3k. And that is going to be uh, negative 1i, or just negative i, I think it's fine, negative i, this is 3j plus, oh, it cancel out. And 6, 7, 8 plus 9k. Okay, so therefore, now I can write b. b is negative 1, then 0, then 9. And that will be my point b. And I just wanted to show you this move in a video which you did on your own. Okay, now number b. The vector CD, so they bring another vector in, CD. It's negative 4i plus 6j plus qk. Uh, where q can add different values. Now if a, the first one, so we're going to go to the first one. If A, B, and C, D are parallel, find the value of Q. Okay. So, if they, if they are parallel, then basically, it's where you can take out something. So, let's just see. <clears throat> okay, let, no, let's see. Um, I just want to write the two down. So, they said, if um, I, this C, D, I'm just going to write A, B again down. Then on top. 
but it's sometimes better if you see. Okay, so what I basically do, I want to see what they did with the one to, to do that. So we can say, the, um, if CD is parallel to AB, then AB, I'm just going to put it up, then IB, vector IB, is vector KCD. Because can you see, that one is, is more in magnitude. That's why we put the K there. Okay, so if I do this, I can do it like this. Let's first write down AB. So 2, negative 3, 6. That's AB. Let's keep our K and let's write down CD. Negative 4, 6, and Q. Okay, now I form my equations. Now what do I get with my equations? So I'm getting, so I'm getting that 2, okay, just, I want to take another color, so 2 is equal to negative 4k. Negative 3 is equal to 6k. And 6 is equal to kq. Okay, now let's see the one that's having the, f the only, which is only having one variable. Actually, both of them is having one. So it's fine. Let's just do this. So I divide negative 4. I divide negative 4. The value must be the same, otherwise I made a mistake. I um, divide 6. I divide 6. So therefore, k equals negative, ah, oh, common pin. k equals negative a half. Uh, and let's see what's k here. Also negative 5. Otherwise I made a mistake. And now I just fill in k. So 6 equals negative a half q. So if I divide by negative a half, I divide by negative a half. So it's like multiplying by 2. So therefore q equals negative 2. Okay. okay. I wanted to show you something extra. Say, for example, somebody was saying CD. Just need to get my pen correct. So, somebody was saying CD equals KAB. I want to show you that the final value, the final value of Q will be the same. K will be different, but they didn't ask K. They asked Q. So as long as you came to the correct answer of Q. Then you are correct. Okay, so let's just do this. So if I fill in CD, so it's negative 4, 6, and Q. And I get K, and I fill in AB, it's 2, negative 3, and 6. And I get negative 4 equals, okay, I'm, I'm busy forming all my equations, so maybe I can just use another color also. Okay, so I get negative 4 equals 2k. I get 6 equals negative 3k. And I'm getting q is equal to 6k. Okay, so if I divide 2, divide 2, divide negative 3, divide negative, oh, sorry. Negative 3, divide negative 3. So I get that k is negative 2, the same here, k is negative 2. But they didn't ask you, I just put it in. But if you're going to go to q and you put in that negative 2, you're also going to get that q is negative 2. And that is the one that they ask you. So if you go back to the question, um, where it was, number 2, um, Find the value of Q. So you could have either do it like this, or as long as you get Q is negative 12, you are correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, quickly, I'm just going to clean to make a few space. I'm almost done. Um, I will just bring in something as soon as they say. I just write a few. Okay. 
So let's do number I. I. I find a, um, if A, B, and C, D, so A, B, and C, D, I'm still working with that, are perpendicular. Now remember, when they are perpendicular, what can you say? The scalar product will be zero. So I will go and say, if, we can write it like this, if perpendicular scalar dot zero. So basically, I'm, I'm taking that values, which is negative 4 and 2, because it's still between A, B, and C, D, plus 6, I, oh, let's just rather put a bracket there, 6, negative 3, plus Q, 6, and that will be equal to 0. Now remember, you use, they say, we have different values. So it, in, in the first one, Q was negative 12. But in this one, Q can be another number. Okay, so don't go on with it. Sometimes they say, replace it, but they didn't say it now. So it's negative 18 plus 6Q is equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm just going to get, oh, sorry, I didn't clean this. Okay. So I'm going to get negative uh, 26. Okay, ne negative 26 plus 6Q, 0. I could have skipped that step and just take the 26 over. And then I divide 6 and I divide 6. So therefore, Q is equal to, and I can simplify now, 13 over 3 or 4. Um, and one third, four and one third. Okay, and yes, because twelve and then one third is left, and that will be my final answer. How you do it? <laughs>